its floats were withdrawn and the wire was let loose from the boat to allow the cold water intake pipes to sink to their proper positions on the seabed. The evaporator is a horizontally mounted shell and tube type heat exchanger. The evaporator is a two-pass type. Its interior consists of two pool boiling sections, one on top of the other. The condenser is a vertically mounted shell and tube type heat exchanger. The condenser too is a two-pass type. The fluorocarbon gas condenses into a liquid on the heat transfer tube surfaces and is discharged through the bottom of the condenser. It is very important now to improve the performance of the OTEC plant's heat exchanger. Toshiba has developed high performance heat transfer tubes with specially treated heat transfer surfaces to replace the conventional smooth surface tubes and has carried out a large number of basic experiments on them with a heat exchanger experimental device located at the Toshiba factory. As a result of these experiments, it was decided to use titanium heat transfer tubes with copper sprayed surfaces for the pilot plant's evaporator. And titanium heat transfer tubes with fluted surfaces for the condenser. Together with the cleaning effects of sponge balls, these specially treated heat transfer tubes have effectively improved the heat transfer performances of both of these heat exchangers. The turbine is a two-stage actual flow impulse type with a rated power output of 100 kilowatts and a rated rotation speed of 3000 rpm, ensuring the highest possible turbine efficiency. The generator is an air-cooled three-phase synchronous one directly connected to the turbine. The shaft sealing system is a very important turbine component plant used the wet pipe mechanical seal which had a high sealing performance whether the turbine was in operation or off. The warm seawater pump is a horizontal single stage centrifugal type with a rated capacity of 23.7 cubic meters per minute. The cool seawater pump is also a horizontal single stage centrifugal type with a rated capacity of 22.9 cubic meters per minute. Fluorocarbon R22, the working fluid used at this plant, was transported to the plant in one ton cylinders. A cylinder full of liquid fluorocarbon is now being fed into the plant system through these flexible tubes. This is a warm seawater intake pit. One end of the lagoon was excavated to form this pit, which was then filled with warm seawater from the ocean surface. In the foreground, you can see the warm seawater intake pipes. To the right, the cold seawater intake and discharge pipes. And beyond these, a view of the entire plant. Here is a breakwater and a whole view of the plant. In this way, all of the plant's equipment were completely installed, and the first streams of warm and cold seawater passed through its pipes on September 18, 1981.
when all of the equipment were test operated, necessary adjustments were made, and on October 11th, for the first time, the plant generated the rated power output of 100 kilowatts. On October 14, 1981, a grand celebration was held in the presence of the President of the Republic of Nauru to celebrate the successful operation of the pilot plant. The President turned on the main switch with the assistance of a Toshiba engineer and then proceeded to receive congratulations from various VIPs from Australia, Guam, Cook Islands, Kiribati and other neighboring countries, all of whom had been invited as state guests. That is how, for the first time in the world, electricity generated by an OTEC plant was supplied to ordinary households. The results obtained from the tests conducted on the pilot plant have provided valuable data for the design of future OTEC commercial plants. Here are some of these results. One, the figure shows the results of the rated output running test, which confirm that the plant can produce an average power output of 100.5 kilowatts at the generator terminal and a net power output of 14.9 kilowatts. Such highly successful plant performance was possible because the turbine, the heat exchangers, and the other plant equipment had such good performances that smaller seawater intake flow rates were enough to produce the 100 kilowatts rated electric power output, which meant that the power requirements for the seawater pumps could also be reduced. Two, the maximum output running test confirmed the maximum power output at the generator terminal to be 120 kilowatts, and the net power output 31.5 kilowatts, both world's records for OTEC power plants. Three, the plant operated continuously night and day for 10 days, this too a world record, and significant in evaluating the plant's reliability and stability. Four, we carried out governor tests, all types of pump trip tests, and sudden load change tests to test the plant's dynamic characteristics, and we confirmed all the various dynamic characteristics expected to be required by future commercial plants. Five, we varied the seawater temperature using a system which artificially mixed warm water and cold water so that we could obtain general purpose data which could be applied to constructing OTEC plants at sites other than Nauru. We also performed variable pressure operation in which the steam pressure was varied according to changes in seawater temperature and we confirmed the effectiveness of such operation. Six. We confirmed the evaporator's overall heat transfer coefficient to be more than 3,500 kilocalories per square meter hour degree centigrade, and the condenser's overall heat transfer coefficient to be more than 2,500 kilocalories per square meter hour degree centigrade. What enabled both heat exchangers to perform so outstandingly was a combination of the heat transfer enhancing effect of the specially treated heat transfer tubes and the cleaning effect of the sponge balls. Thanks to our experience constructing this full-scale OTEC pilot plant, Toshiba has been able to make technological improvements integrating a large number of diverse areas, from systems engineering to plant operations. Now that we have completed all the tests, acquired priceless technological data, and set many world's records, we are on the verge of commercialization. Toshiba now has the confidence to build an initial commercial plant which would generate electricity by ocean thermal energy conversion. <laughs>